Who goes to hell? Who are you? Known more for memes than for his actual work. Matthew McConaughey from True Detective, right? That's gotta be it. Known for more memes than his actual work. I mean, the memes with Matthew for True Detective were off the hook, even though that was an amazing season. Hell it is for you, Matthew McConaughey. Well, it's time for us to reap souls and send their asses over to hell or heaven because we are here today checking out the latest hot jam. From developer Azimatica, we are checking out Peace Death 2. I know. It looks like there's two exclamation points there, which I imagine it probably are. So you do yell the title of the name, but this is actually Peace Death 2 because if you guys recall a couple of years back, we checked out Peace Death 1. We were playing the role as a Grim Reaper. Sending people to hell or heaven. It kind of worked out a little bit like Papers, Please, you know? Very simplicity to start off with. And as you progress with the game, they start throwing a couple more curveballs your way. Now, Peace Dead 2 uses that, obviously, as its uh, groundwork. Let's check out what Peace Dead 2 has to offer. Okay, so it seems we are apparently starting off right outside of my apartment complex. Yeah? <laughs> this is all very familiar, as a matter of fact. Down to that hobo that's always asking me for change, and the uh, very menacing biker gang that always threatens my life as I walk by. Oh, the bus is almost here. Oh, we'll probably have to stand again. When are we gonna pick a leader already? Oh, we need our own bus so we can sit down on our way home. Yep, that'd be fantastic. Oh, there, there it is. And totally packed, just like I said. Uh, what you get fired for? Oh, I messed up 17 workdays. I messed up 20, but I'm still here. In a row? Ah, I, I see. What you get fired for? Well, I still have a job. This is just my day off. Didn't you read the contract? Sorters don't get days off. Oh, damn. So that means I'm unemployed? Job opening. You need work for all interested who find themselves in an inescapable situation. No days off, breaks for lunch and sleep, friendly team, good pay, accommodation included, communal showers, PS, free snacks and coffee provided. I mean, you, you, you got me with the last part. You give me the coffee, I'm there. Oh, dude. What's your business here, Reaper? Oh, you're here for the job. <laughs> right, of course. You have a bright, complex future ahead of you. Working in security is not as simple as it seems. So, you ready for the union? Oh, there's the door. Go on in. Okay. Just like that, huh? Hey, new guy. Welcome. You're hired right here and right now. You are now a sorter, and I'm your instructor. I think I managed to avoid getting fired. Whew. You're my savior. Is that right, coffee man? I like this guy already. So we got, let's see, can we speak to these individuals here or no? Bureaucrat, posted. Apparently a nice little chair to sit on. Scientist and mechanic. Well, apparently right now we can't do much, so let's uh, start the first day at work. Easy process to get the job. Let's go out there and do your work. Angels and Demon is going to be the first one. Oh gee, I wonder who's going to heaven and who's going to hell. Congrats on getting this job. You'll spend today learning the ropes. Oh, we'll test your eyesight and make sure you can read and follow instructions. Send angels to heaven and demons to hell. Send me to heaven. Send me to hell. All right, let's see. Right click on a client to learn more about them. Likes telling jokes, but they're not very good ones. An ordinary ground response angel can fly, but can still hover. So, based on what they look like, they have little descriptions as well. Lost his job in Hell's Boiler Room and joined the bikers. Steals from the communal stash like any biker gang member. So, who goes to Hell? Let's uh, send the homeboys over here stealing from the communal stash. Did we dab on him as we sent them to Hell? Is that what just happened now? Who's going to Hell? You are. So, yeah, we're dabbing on them as they're going to Hell. What about when you're sending them up to Heaven, though? Do you still dab on them? No, no, you just apparently point out straight up. Okay. Clients sent him 10. We got money. I guess Red Hearts is probably how many times we could actually miss or mess up on choices. Your rating A? Very good. Wait, what, what's this? We're also gonna have War, Pestilence, Famine, and Death. So they are indeed coming back for sure. Okay. Ah, there it is. The analysts now want to speak to us. Somebody speak to me. This chart goes up! Yeah! This chart goes down! Yeah! We did great! <laughs> so it doesn't really matter how it does, huh? You're just here to collect that paycheck. Sounds about right. Bureaucrat has something to talk to us about now. New guy. Want to accept a little contract? There's more information on the board. Try it out. Common contract. Additional clients plus 10%. So if I go maybe over my limit of clients, like if I do better than I'm supposed to, I get more money and more reputation? Is that what I'm... 
I guess process the information of his small little brain. Sure, I'll accept it. Okay, what about the chair over here? Isn't that a great chair? Oh, so inviting. A seat for our union leader. It's brand spanking you, no? No one's butt has touched it yet. We decided this was the perfect place for the chair, right in the middle of everything. Perhaps you, or any one of us, will someday earn the right to sit in it. But not today, new guy. Yeah, well, one day. So this is obviously has to do with war, famine, pestilence, and death down here, huh? But we won't learn about it just yet, so let's see. Scientist. Maybe you can tell, but I'm busy. It's very important work. My greatest experiment ever. Okay, you can tell me what that is, huh? Right, maybe later. We'll unlock it as we progress, I imagine. Let's go over to work day number two. <laughs> oh, so one thing in Pete's Dead was that there was a ton of pop culture references in the game. A lot of like, you know, characters that you would see that would be like, you know, from movies, TV shows, video games, etc, etc. And I imagine this will probably be much of the same too. These are neutrals. They're ordinary humans, or at least seem human. Sometimes they have random junk with them that doesn't mean anything. It's still a little soon for you to start working with special signs, so we'll keep it simple today. Neutrals with no special signs need to be sent to purgatory. They'll deal with them there, give them briefings, but to put them in cages and send them where they need to be. All the best practices in the world are the living for the formerly living. The floor is lava! Okay, so this is where we're gonna start seeing like a bunch of like pop culture references, video games and stuff like that. Right click in the client to learn more about them. You are possibly an ordinary woman, possibly a powerful sorceress. I feel like I should know this one, but it's not ringing a bell. But you're definitely going off to purgatory. Over here we have old Indy as well. A covert agent who uses his ordinary job as a cover for traveling and theft. <laughs> sounds about right. That sounds about right. Um, we have what seems to be two Neos? Has a really hard time choosing between two things. Yep, yeah. Is it gonna be the red pill or the blue pill, Neo? Well, this Neo's going to Purgatory, so we know about that one. Who goes to Purgatory again? We got the Fight Club Soap here as well. This guy is gonna go to Purgatory. I'm trying to figure out who this is, though. Didn't have to lose weight for this fairly simple role. Didn't have to lose weight. Sounds like something Christian Bale would probably do. I'm not sure if I'm catching this reference. Purgatory it is for you. Purgatory again, right? Um, who are you? It's a known fact that he was never a headhunter. Yeah, I'm missing that one. By the way, whoever catches these references that I miss, or if I get some incorrect, feel free to let me know. Uh, let's see, Purgatory is for you. Oh, you're the guy with that movie from the dude with, um, Twilight Boy, right? Forget the name of it, I always see it, Amazon always wants you to see this movie, I never tend to catch it, I want to, I've heard good things about it, but... Head Tower Keeper, yeah, yeah. I know what that is. I just haven't seen it just yet. M Mario? <laughs> Who goes to have it? Is that Mario? Professionally unfit electrician, fisherman, and diver? Is this Lloyd Christmas from Dumb and Dumber? I think it might be. It's that um, scene where they dress up and they think it looks fly and everything, but <laughs> it's quite the opposite. Uh, you off to hell. Special signs. Okay, so now you gotta learn about it no matter what. Now, right now, it's simple, mind you. Eventually, right now, because they're teaching us the ropes, there's no timer, but I'm sure eventually they have a timer on you, which then it becomes a bit more hectic, obviously. You keep moving up the career ladder. You might notice some special items among all the junk our clients have with them. Well, these are signs that are attached to each client in a special way. These two, for example, are good nature and wrath. Good nature is a heaven sign, and wrath is a hell sign. If a client has more heaven signs than hell signs, they get sent to heaven, and vice versa. If they both have the same number of both signs, they go to purgatory. I'm full of anger. I believe in you. So there we go, we have our fear and loathing. Um, so who goes to hell? I would say you, up here. Samuel Jackson again? A child in the body of a grown man. Mm, I'm missing out who that is, but you're definitely got to hell. What's next, hell again? Aren't you the dude from No Country for Old Men? Like the dude that finds the cash at the start? Helped everyone he helped in spite of those who couldn't help. I think it might be him. Either way, you're off to hell. Next we got heaven. Oh, we got um Drago here. Who goes to heaven? Apparently... The Crow? Russell Crow. Russell Crow. Fighting around the world. Yeah, that's that's you. That, you're Russell Crow, right? 
Um, you're off to heaven, Russell Crow. Purgatory, purgatory, purgatory. So we're looking at um basically evens, correct? So two and two, this would be it. Not on good terms with himself or his head. That could be the um uh, I forget his name as well. I'm terrible with names apparently now. But um he's the character from Fight Club. You know, before the reveal. Or the main character, I guess. Uh who goes to heaven? Uh you. Scumbag looking man. His work strategies are dubious and leave those affected by them with a lot of questions. This could be Christian Bale in Psycho American Psycho. <laughs> Perfect place would be heaven for him, right? Who goes to heaven? Uh, that would be Purgatory, Heaven, we're looking at... You know what, I think your name just came to me. Keith Apicary, right? It's Keith something. The last name's not throwing me off. Maybe it's not even him altogether. You're right. Who goes to Purgatory? Um... Is it Ryan Gosson? Or is it the guy from Fast and the Furious? Who goes to Hell? Who are you? Known more for memes than for his actual work. Matthew McConaughey from True Detective, right? That's gotta be it. Known for more memes than his actual work. I mean, the memes with Matthew for True Detective were off the hook, even though that was an amazing season. Hell it is for you, Matthew McConaughey. Another A. And 82 with the Union. Perfect. Don't know what any of that means for now, but I guess eventually we'll learn. Okay, so that's three so far. Here we go. Quest! Who wants easy quest? For the detail-oriented and the brave. Okay, my work here is done. Mm -hmm. Well, apparently we got one from Pestilence by the looks of things here. Rat spies. Rats can get into lots of different places, but you have to send them with clients so they can pass unnoticed. We have to send a rat with a client to hell, heaven, and purgatory is what I'm understanding here? Okay. I'll see how I can make that work. We have apparently another contract as well. Uh, additional clients, 50%. I mean, I'm not sure if these are even working at the moment, but... Okay. Excellent. Scientists, anything new from you? Uh, let's talk later. I'm almost done. And don't breathe on those speakers. Okay, so we're about to learn what he's talking about. The concierge still isn't saying much. Let's go off to... Week 4. Distinctive signs. Alright. Demons with heaven signs and angels with hell signs. Demons have distinctive hell signs will always be welcome in hell. But if a demon has more heaven signs than hell signs, and being a demon is a hell sign, then that demon can be sent to heaven. Oh no, I've gone cross-eyed. Okay, so let's see here. How's this gonna work then? So the rats are here. Oh, we got Wolverine. Um, the rats are basically all around. So... Would I be if I send Jackie Chan to hell right now, which is where it wants me to send the next person, this would be hell for Jackie. And then we get this one crossed out because it's got a rat. Yes. Okay, that's how it works. Perfect. So now we gotta send whenever we have the option to send somebody to Purgatory or Heaven. If they have the rat, we'll get this striked off down here. So who goes to hell next? Uh you. Okay. Next up we got Purgatory. So do we have a rat that's got Purgatory? Yes. We got our Purgatory rat, now we're just looking for our Heaven. Oh, that's gonna be you. But unfortunately, we're just sending somebody to hell right now, so it's not gonna work out. Logan! Off the hell you go. So right now, we can't send that one off. Who goes to heaven? You do. You know, it was Elton John. Uh, Purgatory, Purgatory. Looking for... You go to Purgatory, right? Because you got... You're a demon yourself. You get a demon sign and two happies. Yeah. Perfect. We're still looking for our heaven with this rat. Purgatory again. Uh, for Purgatory again, we're looking at... Oh, but it's got the rat! But you know what? You got no signs, so purgatory works for you as well. Oop, I think we got our heaven rat. Right? Buddy, we got all of them. Perfect. Now we could relax a little bit, because those rats are out of the way. So who goes to purgatory? You do. Who are you supposed to be? Glass doors are his worst nightmare. Not ringing a bell. Not ringing a bell. Who is this down here? I feel like I should know who this is. Seems like a very familiar looking character. So we got everything right. We also got 30. That chart looking pretty good, though. Everything's going up. Right, boys? Gentlemen, this chart shows a long-term effect of sauces on our receptors. Oh. Sauces. I thought it had to do with my performance. Red is ketchup and yellow is mustard and white is mayonnaise. It's a lot of mayonnaise. I don't see the white one. It's white, you dummy. And the board is white. Of course, we did great! Told you. Coffee man, what do you got for me? Do you eat at Famine's Diner? Have you seen the coffee machine there? Could you buy me a cup of coffee? They have the best coffee I've ever had. 
the coffee from the vending machine just doesn't taste right. Hmm. So then, if we're going off to the next level, we might actually go in a famine stage. Okay, so is this done now, or... Oh, another one. Rat Spies. Sure. We'll accept another one for you. Very good. Scientist, I thought you were ready to speak to me. Apparently not. Yep, we have opened up Famine's Diner, so I guess... We'll keep an eye on this coffee that Homeboy talked about, assuming it's a thing you could buy, or is this not just flavor text in general? Ooh. It is a different location. How much longer? Do you even serve alcohol here? Yep. That's definitely true, Detective Matthew. Uh, we picked him up in the rain. This was lying next to him. What did he have to say? Hey, he was spewing some nonsense about feeling like a slave. You know, that doesn't make... You know, what doesn't make sense about all this? What? What do blades have to do with it? There were no blades. Yeah, he probably got a cold. Yeah, he might be hallucinating. Maybe. Coffee isn't free. Oh, that's a coffee over there. Ooh. Pay up, then you can have it. 25 for the coffee. Okay. So I guess that's the reason, that's the reason why we're collecting the money as well. All right, sure. We got coffee for a coffee, man. Well, let's go back to the union here first and deliver the coffee. It's hot. Nobody asked you anything? Of course they didn't. Why would they? Thanks for the coffee. Guards of Purgatory. Ooh. You got some deadly looking minotaurs there. Angels of Purgatory, Demons of the Labyrinths. Hey, watch your tongue. Sorry, friend. These are minotaurs, guardians of the cages, circles, and labyrinths of Purgatory. They're true professionals, being eternal guardians is in their blood. They have distinctive signs of Purgatory, which means they will always be welcome there. However, like angels and demons, you can send them somewhere else depending on the signs. Just be careful. Their horns are incredibly sharp and their hooves are powerful. We've been guru we've been goring and trampling since the dawn of time. So for instance, you would be purgatory. And you would be purgatory, right? Both of these would be purgatory. Because he's essentially always welcome in purgatory, he's got no signs. You have conflicting signs, but you're purgatory yourself, so this cancel each other out, so you get sent to purgatory, right? That's how that should work out. So who goes to hell? Um, you are off to hell. Oh, we even got- I forgot about the rat thing! Well, good thing, um, I lucked out on that one. Who goes to hell next? None of you. But, hey, uh, Rocky's going to hell. We got two Rockies. Hell Rocky and, well, both of them are Hell Rockies, apparently. Who goes to Purgatory? Uh, we're gonna get our rat Purgatory here. Perfect. Now we're just looking for a Heaven rat. Who goes to Purgatory this time? Mmm, Freeman building. Off you go. Purgatory again. Um, no, we need this rat for heaven, so Purgatory, we're gonna have to switch over to Driver Goslin. Rat's not gonna work. Who's going for Purgatory this time? Not you, because you cancel each other out. You actually look at a Purgatory, he's got two evils because you're a demon. Perfect. That's gonna be another Purgatory down there. Who goes to Purgatory? We can't send that rat away just yet. So for now, I'm gonna send Indy. Send Indy. Damn rat, move over to an angel one. Who goes to Purgatory this time? Mmm... You do? Is that a heaven one? No. Who goes to Purgatory? Uh, Samuel Jackson goes to Purgatory. Here we go, heaven! Give me a heaven! Yes! Okay, we got that rat out of here. Another great job done. Perfect. Give me that A. Coffee man, what's up? Can you get me another coffee? But with triple nut syrup this time. I wish they served coffee in barrels instead of cups. Hey, you and me both, buddy. As a matter of fact, I got my cup over here that's, uh... Oh, it's lukewarm. Oh, it's lukewarm. I waited too long. Recording this episode. Okay, what do we got here? More rat spice? Sure, we'll accept a bit more work from Pestilence. What do we got for the contract? Additional clients? I mean... Sure. Why not? Ah, scientist. Oh, Reaper, I need you. I'm done with my project, but it needs to be tested. Let me present the blue heart. Oh, well, what is this, Finding of Isaac now, or what? You could call it something like a second chance. Take the heart and make one mistake while you're working. I need to know if it works or not. <laughs> oh, so I need to make a mistake for this quest. And I still need to buy the heart as well. All right. Sure. And uh, we also need to buy, apparently... Ooh, Wars Arena's here, too. Famine's Diner. See about getting this other cup of coffee. Ah, uh -huh. we got our boy Samuel Jackson Travolta here. What do you guys got for me? Do you have the quarter pounders with cheese? Of course he would. 
Nope, just the oil with cheese. English, do you speak it? I want a quarter pounder with cheese. A royal? No. Then no. Well, that sucks. Uh, do you have milkshakes? Triple nut syrup? I know a certain troglodyte who takes care of their coffee just like that. But hey, it's your money. You can have whatever you feel like having. $25 again, huh? All right. Let's go and deliver this. Fantastic. Mmm, delicious. All right, unfortunately, though, we are over time with this one, so I'm going to wrap it up here. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy. If you'd like to see more of this, I would not be opposed against doing more. So do let me know in the comments, and if there's enough interest for it, we'll definitely swing on by with a bit more peace debt, too. I'll catch you guys next time.